In this video, I'm gonna tell you about a couple of new features that we've got when we're working with movies in Ecamm Live. So uh, let's just come straight into live demo mode. I've got a scene here that's got a movie running in the background. So we've got some controls here. I've just muted the sound for now on that, but uh, we've got this control down here, which is actually moved. It was on the other side, but here you can select what to do when the movie ends. So do we want the movie to uh, do nothing when it ends? So it will just stop. Do we want the video to loop? Uh, do we want it to go to the next scene? Uh, or do we want to end the broadcast uh, so you can choose what you want it to do from there so you may want it to be like say for example an intro or something like that you may want it to be that it does go to your next scene once it's uh, finished playing but we've also got this other option now over here, which is uh, when the scene starts. So do we want the video to start from the beginning or do we want it to start from the last position? So starting from the beginning, uh, this one is uh, the default. That's what that is set to. So if I now come to a different scene, just like this, uh, and then I go back to that same scene again, uh, then you see how it starts from the beginning. However, if I come down here and just click on the this one down here, start from last position, then now this video, as I come out of here, uh, come back to this main scene, for example, if I go back to that movie scene, uh, it will just pick up exactly where it left off. Uh, now, also, this will also work if I have duplicated this scene. So let me just duplicate this scene. Uh, and let me say that I want to add in a camera overlay now. So I uh, need to get my overlays up. Look at that lack of preparation. <laughs> get my overlays window up. Just one second. Where is it? I shall find it for you. <laughs> it is somewhere down here. Uh, there it is, it's just hiding over to the side. So if I come back to uh, that window now, and I will just zoom in and come into my demo mode again. This has uh, moved all of my things around, there we go. Uh, so now if I was to add in a camera overlay, uh, just like this, we could put this over here. Uh, then let's say that I want to go to my, uh, back to this first scene you'll see that the, the movie actually keeps playing. So it's actually playing in the background. So if I was to just scrub this back a little bit so it didn't just end, uh, you can see how that movie is playing in the background. Uh, but because I just duplicated it, the movie's also in this video, if I wanted to maybe come over the top to uh, just say a few words or something like that, you know, you could build out this scene however you want it. Maybe I want to uh, just be like a little pop-up in the corner or something like that to talk about it and then go back to let you continue watching the movie. So this will just continue to play in the background uh, if you have it set here to uh, start from last position uh, and it will just recognize that it is the same movie. Uh, and of course, you can also do the thing of when it uh, finishes and the broadcast go to the next scene and so on. Now, there is another thing that we've got here, though, which is just up at the top and it's just cutting off just slightly here. So let me just uh, go to a different view of it. One second. I'll come to this one for a moment. Go back to there. Uh, you have got the scene time remaining. And I think what's happening is it's just chopping it off a little bit because this is perhaps a little too small. There you go. You can see the scene time remaining just up at the top there. So that is something else that's added in. So if you are like me, <laughs> waiting for the movie to end, you know exactly how much time you've got because you've got that little countdown. So that little visual cue up there to let you know how much time you have got left. So that is the new uh, features that were added related to uh, movies. A bit of a short video for me, really, this one. But uh, that's all there is to say about it. I hope you found those useful. But don't go anywhere because... There are some more videos all about the other new features of Ecamm Live uh, coming up next. So I'll see you in that video.